and welcome back to my channel where we're about that breaking cycle life. And happy new year! It's 2024 and it's the first Sunday song spotlight in the year. Welcome to 2024 as if I have some authority already. I do. God has given me authority for 2024 in my life. I'm pretty sure he has given you the same. Maybe you walk in authority this year guys. May we walk in the perfect tool of God and may we desire all that he desires for us. Okay? That's my desire for you and for myself too. So, yeah. Happy 2024, guys. And I hope this year is a wonderful year and it is going to be one that surprises you and brings about all the joy and the blessings that God has in store for you, okay? It has started out a very great year. I'm so, so happy. I cannot tell you why, but I am super ecstatic. I'm elated. I'm so happy. The year could not have started any better. I am so happy. Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> I cannot tell you why, but I am so happy. The year started off on a good foot and I am super happy, okay? But yes, it's our first Sunday and we are going to start off with bringing it back. Bringing it back, 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 back <laughs> to the basics of life, okay? Bringing it back to the origin, the original Christianity. And I believe it is the perfect song to start the year because honestly guys in our world today <laughs> we have lost sight of what it truly means to be a christian and I, anytime i listen to this song guys <laughs> it makes me literally sit and think about oh my wow it's it's really true that we really need to get back to the basics of life we need to get back to what it really means to be an authentic pure Christian that doesn't care what the world thinks but lives according to what God thinks okay and with that being said as I've stated like twice already the the song for this week's Sunday song spotlight for the first Sunday in 2024 it is none other than basics of life by for him like literally for and him him h i m capitalized age okay so that's the group that sang this song and it's entitled once again basics of life if you know this song especially if you're an adventist um you understand what i meant by everything i just said okay so let's get into the first verse it says We've turned the page, for a new day has dawned. And we've rearranged what is right and what's wrong. Have not, haven't we, right? Um, somehow we've drifted so far from the truth that we can't get back home. And where are the virtues that once gave us light? And where are the morals that governed our lives? Someday we all will awake and look back just to find what we've lost okay that's the first verse <laughs> Woo! that that verse has so much packed into it and it just feels like you're getting a, a lecture from your mom right <laughs> honestly like if we look at our world today everything is about what we feel you know, when, when God literally says <laughs> the heart is deceitful above anything else, right? And a lot of people don't go based on what is true or what God has ordered them to do, what God has instructed them, that's a better word, instructed them to do. And uh, it really takes well, I can kind of understand because in our society today, when you look at the kids and like the, the parents that are in our generation right now, it's really sad to say that many people 
grew up with the ideology that how I feel is important. And while it has some value to it to know that what you feel is important, we still need to realize that sometimes how we feel is not necessarily the most important thing or the thing we should prioritize or act upon because how we feel sometimes is not necessarily right okay because i can feel to go and murder someone when i'm super pissed and super angry right and i feel that way sometimes right but should i go and act on it is it the truth in terms of how i should be behaving as a as a civilized individual no right so how i feel should not dictate my actions right and that is why i believe the lord gave us a book with some nice principles and uh, um instructions outlined for us that we may have lived by because he knows better than us and just like any parent to a child that they do not let the child live for you know those parents that are actually structured and actually want some value out of their out of their child's life um let me elaborate on that i know some people their mentality is maybe you know they don't want to be like their parents and how strict their parents well you don't need to be strict but you still need to end, um, enforce discipline um and then you have the next end of the la of the spectrum where um you want to just be totally um opposite or if you are being the same as your parent you're not doing it with love or whatever like the world is messed up right <laughs> oh my gosh if we all just really understood what the bible meant I think we wouldn't have much problems. And if we just all had faith and believed and, and obeyed, obeyed, obedience, guys, obedience, obedience is, is key. If, if we really would just obey God in the very small things that he has designed for us or instructed us to do, we'd see very great things happen in our lives just because. You know we are obeying and that brings us back to understanding what's right and what's wrong and living according to what's right and what's wrong okay and it will <laughs> build virtue in individual oh, i think this song is like really <laughs> it's a whole sermon right just saying but i'm not gonna give a sermon tonight my hope for 2024, let's go from that perspective. My hope from 2020, for 2024 is maybe go back to what is truth, okay? And God reveals truth to everyone differently. Differently in the sense that at different times. His truth does not change, but someone will learn of the truth today one part of the truth i mean today while another may learn of another part on the same day and are they both wrong in being obedient to god no and i mean different part not the same part but in different versions let's get that clear okay god is not one of confusion his truth his truth is very much absolute and we ought to realize that we ought to be patient with our brothers and sisters because the truth that God may have revealed to you because you're on a different journey with him may not necessarily be the truth that is revealed to your brother or sister at that specific time. But maybe you are the person that was brought into their life to help reveal that truth to them. Okay? So it's being patient, it's being kind, you know, the fruit of the spirit. And then being able to just be humble that's the very basic of christianity is basic of life basics of life basic yeah, of life being humble <laughs> oh how if we were humble and teachable 
God will do great things in our lives. Honestly, if we are humble and obedient, God can do very great things. And May 4, 2024, I pray that we all become humble, teachable, and obedient to the will of God for our lives. Because it's in doing that that we will see great miracles occur. Those people that you think nothing can ever happen for them, because I've heard so many people say, like, these people cannot change, right? Like, when I'm counseling people, they're like, ah, Shanique, this person will never change. And I'm like, who are you to put such a judgment on someone? God is able, above all, to change whoever he desires to change. And even the worst of all is not too far gone for God to work a miracle and change the heart, right? But many people don't understand that because they don't believe that there is a God in heaven that can do the impossible. But I believe, and I know, that God is more than able. You are more than able. Yeah, to do above and beyond. In terms of not only giving me materialistic things, guys. Let's not be so materialistic in 2024. But may... Here's a challenge. Maybe choose one person. And we literally pray for that person that God will work a miracle. The person that you believe is so far gone. May we take them as the first Sunday in 2024. May we take that name and we place it in the hands of God. And say, God, work on this heart. Well, I have about, yeah, let's not number it because people are going to be like, am I a part of that number? Yeah, but I have a few people, right? One, if, if you only can find one person, take that name or take as many names and say, God, work a miracle in these people's lives because I know you're able to restore people, I know you're able to redeem them and save them from the hands of the, the, the enemy, right? Okay. So, after saying all of that, <laughs> it goes to the course, it says, we need to get back to the basics of life. A heart that is pure and a love that is blind. <laughs> a faith that is fervently grounded in Christ. The hope that endures for all time. These are the basics. We need to get back to the basics of life. Okay? He aligned it for us. We need to get back to the basics of life. What are they? A heart that is pure, a love that is blind, a faith that is fervently grounded in Christ, and a hope that endures for all time. <laughs> Guys, the way he just said that, it makes it seem as if it's easy. It's really not. <laughs> a heart that is pure. <laughs> that means having no anger towards people. Whoa, I already am disqualified from that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really, I'm already disqualified where it's like to think impure things. Hey, the Lord is working on me. Okay, let's just say that. And may he work on you or continue to work on you in 2024. That he gives us a pure heart, right? And a love that is blind. Whoa, <laughs> I'm already disqualified again. Okay, disqualified again. I love that is blind. Imagine, I'm learning, like literally God has placed me in a situation where I'm learning to be blind in regards to loving as how Christ loved. Because I'm like, how do you forgive? Like, how do you forgive? And I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I what you're requiring me to do is not necessarily something that I want to do, right? <laughs> and then he teaches me, he, he sits me down, like whenever I'm being so super still, he's like, Shanique, how do I forgive you after all that you have done to me? Or he teaches me about my character where after all they did, I still forgave them. I'm like, this is just messed up mentality. <laughs> this is me talking to God. I'm like, this is messed up mentality. Like, how do you still 
want these people in your presence like how he's like then how do i want you shanique in my presence i'm like ah. <laughs> and i have to be like this is sometimes this love is literally blind and it means when he says unconditional love i don't think we understand what it means to have unconditional love for someone it's like whoa maybe a parent understands but like in friendships and in love relationships i'm like hey right i'm like i prefer to be alone <laughs> right than to deal with all of that right okay but god would prefer reconciliation and, and you know bringing us back into his space it's weird i can't fathom it because i'm not like that right but then i'm learning from him i still kind of think it's weird but nevertheless that's the reason why i'm here saved and can be able to speak to you so why not right <laughs> And then it says a faith that is firmly grounded in Christ. Again, I reiterate, being humble, being teachable, and being obedient to the will of God. And a hope that, that endures for all time. That's hope. Sometimes I'm so angry with myself for the fact that I am so, I'm so hopeful. Yeah, I, I, I just said that, yes. Sometimes I do not want to be hopeful. Sometimes I want to be pessimistic. But I think God, like, you know, wires something in me that he's like, you know, maybe Shani one day. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be like one day. I just don't want to think about it at all, right? <laughs> Conversations with me and God. <laughs> They're funny, sir. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay. But guys, may this be our motto. For 2024, to have a heart that's pure, a love that is blind, a faith that is fervently grounded in Christ, and a hope that endures for all time. And I don't mean just towards Christ, because that's easy, because we know He loves us, and we know He's sincere towards us, and we know He wouldn't do anything to hurt us. That's easy to love Christ, right? In spite of all that we do, it's easy to love Christ because He's perfect. When you have to look at others that are similar to you, that make mistakes just like you, you're like, but I'm offended. <laughs> but may God put his spirit within us that for 2024, we exude these characteristics. Okay? Then for verse 2, let's quickly go. I, I've, I've been chatting a lot. Sorry. It says, the newest rage is to reason it out. <laughs> just meditate and you can overcome every doubt. After all, man is a god. <laughs> they say God is no longer alive. But I still believe in the old rugged cross. Amen. I still believe there is hope for the lost. And I know the rock of all ages will stand through the, through the changes of time. Through the changes of time. Ah, I love that part of the song where he's like, After all, God is a man. They say God is no longer alive. I hope you guys got the sarcasm in that, right? Because... As he started out with the verse, he said, the newest rage is to reason it out. Like, there is no absolute anymore in this society that we live in. It's, oh, it's my perspective. And it's your perspective. And, you know, we can agree to disagree. No. No, no, no. That's the reason we have problems in the first place. There's a reason there is a leader, right, to lead the way. And that is God. He has already stipulated outlined what it is that he needs us to do and if we go by how we feel and our perspective and you know i'm not wrong and you're not wrong so let's agree to go our own way and not be wrong you know that's where confusion comes and god is not a god of confusion he already said a is a why are you trying to make a b right because you feel or you're not you you don't want to live according to what he has stipulated in A. That's basically breaking the first commandment. Do not have other gods before me because you're basically putting yourself as a god before him 
because how you feel is dictating how your life goes and if you are dictating how your life goes then are you being submissive to god no you are not that means he's not your god you are not he's not your master he's not your god he's not the one that cares for you and then we have we we become a slave to sin or feelings that have no direction that leaves us confused that leaves us worried that leaves us um hopeless that leaves us in pain in turmoil but if we would just put our hope in christ and be obedient and be humble and teachable would realize that we'd be able to go back to the chorus and have all the things he outlined a heart that is pure a love that is blind a faith that is fervently grounded in christ the hope that endures for all time if we but just if we but just put our hope in christ guys and then it goes to the chorus again and then it says it goes to the bridge it says we've let the darkness invade us too long We've got to turn the tide. Oh, and we need the passion that burned long ago to come and open our eyes. There's no room for compromise. Basically, a nice way to end all of what I said today. <laughs> Guys, 2024, as Christians, let us, what? Be humble, be teachable, be obedient. To the will of god that's basically it those are the basics of life being humble being teachable and being obedient that that that, that last one mm. that last one is really a hard one being obedient to the will of god for our lives i'm talking to myself don't ever think that whenever i'm talking to you in these devotions it's not about me okay god is talking to me through these devotions he has to talk to me first before he talks to you okay <laughs> Woo. but yes may you be humble be teachable and obedient to the will of god for our lives in 2024 and we'll see god work wonders in our lives if we just day by day learn to be humble, teachable, and obedient. You'll see God work miracles in your life. Okay? So, that is our song for this week. Let's get back to the basics of life for 2024. Being humble, teachable, and obedient. And let's see what great things God has in store for us this year. Okay? I'll see you on Thursday. For Bible study, guys. Bye bye. Have a great day. Hey, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's encouragement and I hope you guys are ready for the day ahead. Now, do me a favor and press that like button and subscribe button if you are new so that we can get more of this positive Christian content out into the world, okay? And I'll link my daily devotional playlist right here and my Let's Talk playlist if you want to tackle some social issues, okay? So, have a great day, guys. Bye bye.